Hello, I'm Sebastian Fat Salary, BBC Director of Marxist Cunt Waffle. Some great news to share with you. The BBC is set to appoint external experts to ensure that all of our content is woke enough. Sorry, not woke, impartial. We need to make sure that all of our content is impartial. We'll be drawing experts from all walks of life, whether it be ex-Guardian journalists or former Labour Party employees, race campaigners, eco-activists, prominent feminists and, of course, representatives from the LGBT community. We'll be making sure our panel of impartiality experts is as diverse, inclusive and progressive as possible. Obviously, we can only take on so many impartiality experts, so there may not be any room for straight white men or anybody holding traditional values. And of course, we're not prepared to work with anyone who voted for Brexit, as those people are all intrinsically racist. Tim Davey, the Director General of the BBC, has said that he wants to banish fear from public debate and that the BBC has a pivotal role to play in that. Obviously, his objectives are somewhat at odds with the current BBC ethos, which is that if anyone expresses any view that falls outside the current hyper-liberal woke consensus, then they should be relentlessly smeared, discredited and misrepresented across all media, and they should have their livelihoods absolutely obliterated. Nonetheless, we will try to accommodate Tim Davies' concerns. We'll be exploring the possibility that perhaps not everyone on CBBS needs to be disabled and we'll also be considering whether our entire comedy output needs to be as anti-white, anti-male and anti-British as it currently is. And rest assured, no BBC employee will be beyond reproach. We'll definitely be clearing out all the pinko loonies, more as a cost-cutting exercise than anything else, to be honest, as we're increasingly cash-strapped because fewer and fewer people are paying the licence fee. And I, for one, am not going to sacrifice my six-figure salary. Remember, this is your BBC, you pay for it, and we'll continue to spend your money trying to indoctrinate you with the sort of worldview that most people grow out of once they've left sixth form.